And welcome back to The Factor Uncensored. Blackface dates back more than 200 years ago. Now, some people believe a form of it has been reintroduced as digital blackface. Digital blackface. So what's digital blackface? Well, it's when non-black, usually white people, use images of black people to express themselves online. Like that, Antoine Dodson. This involves everything from black expressions, culture, and even memes of black people. We had a debate on it in the Factor editorial. <laughs> oh, Jordan. In the editorial meeting about whether or not this is a form of racism or if it's even an issue. You. Joining me now to talk about it, social media expert Karen Diamond, Jen Zier, Raina Mejia, and CEO of Regal Media, Todd Smith. Glad to have you all here on The Factor on Uncensored. So, first of all, do you think this is an issue or this is... This is totally not an issue. For me, <laughs> memes, exchanging memes, that's the modern way of communication. Mm -hmm. That is how I establish relationships and connections with people on social media. And I'm not thinking twice <laughs> about, you know, pulling a, a, a racial or you not using a certain meme because I'm afraid it's going to impact, mm -hmm. you know, the way people see me. I'm not going to be insensitive about the way that I use and share my memes because I think that they're free game. Some of the best memes that we have are the ones you just showed. Absolutely. Yeah. Todd, your thoughts on this? I agree with Karen. I mean, they're just memes. I mean, we have enough. As black people, we do we do deal with racism on a regular basis, but this ain't it. You know, I mean, <laughs> I mean, it's some of these things are stereotypical in their caricature, caricatures, but I think we as black people spend too much time worrying about stereotypes, worrying about what other people think of us, and not just enjoying life. Who cares what other people think or if they thought it was negative or they're making fun of this black person? I don't care. You know, I don't care what people think of us. I don't think of, care, I don't care what people think of me. If somebody wants to share a meme that's funny, let them have fun. Like I said, we have too many problems to worry about police brutality, systemic racism, voter suppression. This is just fun. It's internet fun. Mm -hmm. That's all it is. And one of my producers said to me, because I was like, ah, I'm kind of iffy about this topic. It's not really a big deal to me. And she says, well, you know, you're one of the memes that they share. And I'm like, and, and she <laughs> says, do you mind if black, if white people use it to say something yep. funny or use it as their uh, profile pair? I'm like, no. But it's I funny. Mean, it's, I say I have bigger things but to it's, worry about. But it's about. funny. See, my thing is like this. We have so many things to worry about. Black people, sh we, sh we have stuff we need to stress out about. We need to have fun sometimes, too. It's okay for us to laugh at each other. It's okay for us to show some comedy. We've gotten to the point where we don't even want to see black comedic films. We want to see everything that's serious. That's not healthy. It's okay for us to laugh at, at ourselves and other people to laugh at us, too. But as long as we're not facing real racism <coughs> and we're not laughing at real racism, there shouldn't be a problem. That's right. There, there have been instances where I have seen people, you know, speaking negatively or ill about a certain, you know, race or profile of a person, and then following that up by using the wrong means. Yeah. And so right there, you're being tone deaf and you're being insensitive to what someone might perceive as mm -hmm. racist. Yeah. And, and, and I think that there's there are those opportunistic opportunities where people do use. And them. you can't just ignore the Gen Z here. Yeah. Yeah. Come well, on, I now, have gotta jump in there. Go ahead. A different opinion. Go than ahead. Let's hear from it. I think that digital blackface is more than just using the memes. I, it's defined, I think, by, for example, on TikTok, there'll be certain sounds of like uh, maybe a black woman saying something in a type of sassy way, maybe. And um, but that's humorous. You know, it's it's funny. You know, it's. Um, but then you see people go and they reuse the sound acting that out, you know, in a, in a very sassy mm -hmm, way mm -hmm. that's not funny anymore, mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. And that's when the white person comes in and they're doing it. And it's kind of like, well, why are you making a joke out of the way this black woman's personality was, you know? I, I think it goes more than just memes. And I think sometimes when memes are used in a negative connotation, representing something that maybe mm -hmm. shouldn't be that funny or mm -hmm. using that meme for it, I think that's when it becomes like something that I personally, I wouldn't do that, mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. I consider the source though. If the source, right. if the person doing it, if I feel that they have racism in their heart, then I might take yeah. offense to it. Mm -hmm. But if I know you and I know what you represent, right. Right. I personally, I can't speak mm -hmm. for all black people, I find it hard to be offended by something somebody says if I know you and I think mm -hmm. I know your heart. The problem is when I think that you're racist and you say something, then I might have a problem with it because I know you might feel a certain way about us. But if I know you and I know you, I don't think you're racist, I'm not going to... It's not going to make it's me feel no kind of way. It's all with malicious intent, I yeah. think. Yeah. I think some people, I mean, of course, it's all fun fun and games sometimes, but sometimes people are 
posing as black people in the media or they're trying to act a certain way, act like a black person, you know, and that's when it becomes, that's what digital blackface I think is. Mm -hmm. It's I think it's right. blackface, right. but on yeah. social media. Right. It's not mm -hmm. just using memes of black people. Mm -hmm. um, and I think that it, as TikTok grows, I think it's going to get worse. You're right. I, I totally see that. But nothing's going to stop me from using right. Dave Chappelle. <laughs> <laughs> Love that guy. <laughs> <laughs> now, what if there's some backlash? Would you would you stop? Yeah. What <laughs> <laughs> happened to that defiance? Right. That Karen's like, right. nothing going to stop me. Nothing going to stop me. Until but you cancel me. <laughs> exactly. I don't want to get canceled over a meme, you know, but. It's cancellation culture, though. Everything is a problem right. now. But you know? ask people at work, though. They call me the meme queen. That's all I'm doing. <laughs> Not all day. I'm actually working, guys. All right. Thank you guys for joining us here on The Factor. Still ahead.